Hey everyone, I'm doing a special video tonight. As we know, if you're familiar with my channel, I love the Nasamato line. It's probably my favorite line in fragrance. I'm, everything you're gonna see tonight, I'm gonna include either over here, over here, however it mirrors, um, a link to the each individual videos. So we're gonna go through my collection. We're gonna talk about what my favorite Nasamato is. We're gonna talk about all of them briefly um, together, comparing them. This is gonna be a longer video, so buckle up. Um, starting with my collection, we have Barawanda. We have Pardon. We have Absinthe. And we have Duro. Woo! Oh, that was close. And we have new to Florum. So I'm going to start with, I guess, my least favorite and work up to my favorite. Keep in mind, everything here, it's last but not least, you know, they're all winners. I like them all. That's why I have the bottles of them. Um, starting with my least favorite would probably be Absinthe. Last but not least, okay. Um, what I like about it is I like that it's unique. I like that it's um, a unique green that has some aquatic properties. It has some kind of, it's also kind of a dirty, earthy, rooty quality to it, but it has some crispness to it, some crisp green. It has good vetiver, and vetiver is kind of, in my opinion, a boring note. So when they take vetiver and they kind of spice it up and make it really interesting, I really like that. There's like apple in here. There's some green fruit, some sour sweet fruit. There's a green apple heat note in here. Not a lot of people talk about it. There's definitely one in here and it makes it so, it adds this level of succulence to it that makes your mouth water. So there's some sweetness, but it's a bitter fragrance. So it's polarizing to some because it is kind of a bitter green fragrance. And that's not everyone's cup of tea. It's not a lot of people's cup of tea. I think it's interesting though. It's something I would wear in the spring and the summer. Um, it's based off of the drink absinthe. And, um, you know, I can kind of see it how it's very green and it's got these narcotic intoxicating qualities. But the, you, people kind of throw that around. But kind of the sweetness, the succulence, and also the bitterness of like the absinthe drink. So that's probably what he was going for here. It's not going to make you woozy or high or anything like that. So that's um, five out of my collection. Next would be Nudiflorum. So what I like about it is um, it has, it's a very nice musk. It's like a human musk. It's like a human sweat. So it's not like an animalic musk. It's it's a, a recognizable musk. It's like, it's like your skin, but better. And I know you, you might have heard that before, but it's just a very nice musk. It's not polarizing at all. It's like something just you innately recognize. It's like sweat, but not stinky, if that makes sense. So it kind of has this like saltiness to it, but it's very pleasant. Um, it's inoffensive. Um, you can wear it any time of year, really. I would recommend it for the spring, the summer. It has florals in here. Um, it, new to form, I think that's another way of saying jasmine. I'm not totally sure, but there's some white florals in here. They're kind of soapy. In my new to form video, I talked about, I likened this to uh, Yves Saint Laurent Coros because it has that kind of musky soapiness, but it doesn't have the skanky civet of Coros. This is um, just very clean. It's floral, white floral, kind of soapy. But it also has kind of a green stemminess to it, a fresh cut stem. Um, so it's not just mashed up soapy flower. It's also a snipped flower. It's something very intimate. There's also a leather accord in here. And what's interesting about the leather accord in here is it's like it's this green leather, if that makes sense. It's like imagine taking leather, but like rubbing grass and greenness into it. And that's kind of what you get. And it sounds kind of strange and unpleasant right now. But once you smell it, you you understand it, and it's actually very nice. This is um, the inspiration for this fragrance was like skin on skin intimacy um, with your lover or anything like that. You know, cuddled up in bed, and this is definitely a very intimate scent. Okay, moving on to my next one. This is number three. This is Nasamato Duro. Uh, this is a masculine hard hitter. This is probably the most. Um, overtly, clearly, definitively masculine of the line. I'll go ahead and just take it out of the box just so you can see it. Um, it's got leather, it's got woods, it's got spices, it's got booziness. 
There's also some sweetness. A lot of people say it's this very astringent, dry, crusty, leathery, woody, but I don't get that at all. I actually think there's a sweetness to it, kind of like this caramelized sweetness. Um, there's some boozy aspects to it. Um, it's not like Barawanda boozy. It's kind of just other scents coming together, kind of the woodiness, uh, the spiciness. It kind of mimics a booziness, so it's not an authentic, true booziness. Um, but it's very masculine. It's polarizing. Um, I don't think it's as polarizing as people say. Some people say, oh, it's the scent of aggression. It's uh, aggressively masculine. It is masculine, but it's not mean. I was actually surprised um, that it wasn't as aggressive as I thought. It wasn't um, something just dominant and uh, savage and mean, as some people say. It's, um, I don't want to call it tame because it's not tame at all. But um, it's approachable. There's a sweetness to it. So there's something inviting about it. Um, it's kind of a warm, masculine, but I think it's assertive. I think it's fair to call it assertive. Um, the leather, I wouldn't say it's like a, it, it's kind of a drier leather. It's not a moist leather, but it's not just like a sun cake parched leather. There's definitely a moistness to it. It's not completely dry. The woods are very dry. The spices are dry. The leather's not so dry. And there's something caramelized that kind of uh, keeps it somewhat lighthearted. Moving on to number two. This is very big. This is polarizing. This is gonna surprise some people watching this who know who I am and what I like and what my favorite fragrances are, excuse me. Number two is Pardon. Now this is, I, some people say that like this is my, this is my favorite NASA motto, okay? But I'm doing this as a review for what I would tell everyone, the people, that this can't be number one if I'm speaking to everybody. This is my personal number one, but for the world, this is number two um, because this can't be number one. This has chocolate. This has woods. This has sandalwood. This has cinnamon, tonka, uh, florals. So many good things in here. So many notes that would make it anybody's top fragrance. That is so mass appealing. How could this just fail in any way? It's an infallible, wonderful masculine scent. The way it comes together, its execution is not quite what you would expect from the notes. The oud is somewhat medicinal. Um, it's a little skanky. It kind of pulls away from the chocolate. The chocolate is an unsweetened, dark, bitter chocolate. Um, it's not kind of a, you know, milk chocolatey. It, it, it's, uh, it, it's dark, very dark, um, but it is sweetened with the cinnamon. There's tonka in here, um, the florals. So it is a very romantic, very intimate scent. And this is a great scent for a guy. It, it's so good, but the thing is, is it is more challenging than it looks. A lot of people say uh, this is the most approachable. This is the best of the NASA model line besides Black Afghano. I'm not reviewing Black Afghano, by the way, not in this review. Um, but I can't recommend this to anyone. I can't even say this is a safe blind buy. It's not a safe blind buy. Some people aren't gonna like this. Um, I've actually never gotten a compliment with this. And what will be number one, I have gotten compliments with um, this, it, it, it's wonderful. It really is. And any Nasamato fan, if you haven't smelled it, you have to smell it. If you're a fan of the Nasamato line, you can't not smell this. You have to. Um, but it's not going to be for everyone. For me, it's my number one. But for you watching this video, your number one is Barawanda. Man, this is so good. It is so good. It's this, it's boozy. It's spicy, it's got rose, it's musk, it's nose tingling spices, it's so good. Let me show you this bottle, and look at this, it's the red box, it's just, it's loud, Berlano's Italian for uproar. Um, I can smell it from here, really, man, it's just wafting. I'm smelling that booze, this is whiskey. Look at that, that's authentic cork. And now you've got, it. I mean, it looks like whiskey. Yeah, they say, Alessandro Galtieri, they say that he makes this with whiskey, that there's legitimate whiskey in here. Um, that's how authentic the note is. It is bang on whiskey. Um, it is so good, but it's like a spiced whiskey. It's like aged in a barrel. It's not just slow grade whiskey. This is really fine, beautiful whiskey and the ambrette in there. And there's just so many spices. 
that make it just delicious. It makes your mouth water. So much of the Nasamato line, I think people are like, oh, a gourmand, there's a gourmand quality to so many of them because so many of them can make your mouth water and it just evokes this, my mouth is watering right now, it evokes this reaction of, oh, I'm about to sink my teeth into something delicious. And that's what Barawana is. It's got the rose and it's romantic. It's, it's flirty. It's intimate. It's so many things at night. This is a night fragrance though. It is everything at night, but it can be anybody you want it to be at night. Um, cannot wear it during the day. It smells like booze. It's straight up booze. If you get pulled over with this, I mean, you're going to get pulled out of the car and you're going to have to do, you know, some f dr drunk field testing stuff because it really does. I mean, it's so authentic. But so, it's so delicious. And after a couple drinks when you're with people, it's just, it's so nice. Um, I've gotten compliments with it. I've been asked, what is that? Um, the projection isn't as strong as the other Nasamato. I would actually say uh, projection-wise, uh, this is average. I wouldn't call it weaker, but it's, I mean, if it was any more projection, there'd be problems because people would be like, man, this guy is blasted drunk. So maybe it's just where it needs to be. It's so good. Um, and in fact, this juice on eBay and places you can see, it's actually some of the most expensive, more expensive than pardon. Uh, people are starting to wake up and realize this is the real gem of Nasamato. Black Afghano, it's been uh, weakened a lot. It's been reformulated. It used to be this like black opaque liquid now it's kind of this reddish purple. I mean, you can tell by looking at it, it's not the same. I don't even have it. I've tried it, I don't have it. Um, the whole cannabis note thing, uh, I, some of these people say, oh, it smells like the good stuff. I don't think they've smelled good stuff because it's definitely not in there. It's not for me. I've got enough Nasamato here. Uh, these aren't even my only boxes. There's a couple of these I have two of. Um, you can never have enough of this. And I know this is like, oh, this is like his ob obsession line. But you know, it's, I, I think this will probably be my last video about it because I don't have a whole lot to say. Maybe like in a top three video of other things that they come in, but this is kind of my send off video for Nasamato. Um, I like them all. They're all wonderful. Um, longevity wise, uh, I would say the strongest of these are Duro and Pardon, and these are the two that were not reformulated. I, there's some formulations, believe it or not, Absinthe that used to come in a brown box. Now it's in this black box. It's been strengthened. Before it was weak, people were saying two or three hours uh, lasting. This you can get six or eight now. These are all X straight. They're all strong, 30 milliliter bottles, but just two or three sprays will do you. So, and I guess Alessandro Gualtieri, he's moved on to the Ordo Parisi line. I'm interested to try those. I have to try those. I'm surprised I haven't yet. I'll get around to it. Uh, new to Florum, it, it's kind of with absence where it's not a total beast. Um, and it's good. It shouldn't be. This is an intimate scent. This would be really weird if this was like this just so, so intimate scent, but you're just sniping people across the room with it. <laughs> like, it's just not what it's for. And there's Barawanda right in the middle. But man... He's right in the middle. He's so good, though. He he does everything he needs to. Um, and Uproar, that's such a cool name in Italian. Oh, by the way, yeah, you know, Duro is hard in Italian. And some people were saying this is somewhat innuendo. This is a G channel, PG channel. So we're not going to talk more than that. But there was some innuendo about this guy being the super masculine one. And I can see that. But he's a lot more friendly than he comes off as. Um, don't be scared by it. It's not, it's not safe blind buy. I wouldn't blind buy it, but definitely test it if you're into the NASA model line. Don't let all the scare, the fear tactics, whatever. People saying, oh, I like grew hair on my chest and I attacked someone when I sprayed this on. It's not, this is too sweet to be that. There is sweetness in here and your nose is broken if you're not picking it up. Pardon, I, I mean, I'm just very sentimental over it. Um, I can't let it go. It's my favorite of the NASA model line, even though I acknowledge it's not even the best of the NASA model line. But it was actually my first NASA motto um, out of all of them. And this is the one, besides Black Afghano, people were like, oh, you know, you, you got to try this one. And so that's what I jumped on the first time. And I got a good deal. I got a really good deal on it. So I just bought it. And it was so good. And I fell in love with it. And it was my favorite fragrance for a while. Um, and I guess it still is, but it changes every day. You know, I've got like a top three and maybe I can do a top three video for you guys.